Hi, you're listening to Kate Palmer from sparkletart.com. Hi, in this clip I'm going to explain why you might want to use a craft mat when you're using your ink blending tool. Now there's a lot of products out there that I see and think, why on earth would I want to part with money for that? I can easily use something else I have at home. In this case, the craft mat's not one of those. Let me explain why. First, let's walk through a project using the craft mat as our backing. I'm using the craft mat or craft sheet from Ranger, and it's one of the Ink Essentials line. You can also see I'm using the Ranger ink blending tool with the little foam applicator. I've also been a little bit cost, um, I suppose, cost conscious, and all of the little um, foam applicator tools that come with this, I've cut them in half so that I can have one little applicator for each colour of Distress Ink. I like to apply my ink to the cardstock in a little circular motion. I find that this gives me a beautiful blend, which is what you can see in the background there. I've already applied a layer of sponge sugar all over my cardstock and I've added a layer of Victorian velvet. So you can see how beautiful and smooth this layer looks. As you watch, I'm adding some of the Dusty Concord and you can see how beautifully this is going onto the cardstock. Really smooth, I'm not getting very many little jagged edges. You can see that it's allowing me to create a lovely smooth edge to my colour. I'm quite happy with this at the moment. This part is in real time so you can see how easy it is to blend that colour. A little bit of ink, a few sort of swirly little circular motions onto the cardstock and you've got a beautiful, beautiful background. Just look at how beautiful that is up close. You can see the three distinct colours all blending beautifully. Now, let's see what you get when using paper underneath your project rather than the craft mat. So you saw the results that I got on the craft sheet. So I'm going to do the same thing on just a normal piece of paper without using the craft mat underneath so you can see the difference that you get. Now straight away you can see that I'm getting these inked edges and because I'm getting so much of the ink soaked up by the paper underneath I'm getting a really patchy blend. Hmm, not very impressive. Let's try it with a darker ink. Hmm, scrappy. So because you've got all that ink being absorbed by the paper, the result is some, um, wow, noticeably different. So when using the blending tool on cardstock, but having normal paper underneath, look how patchy the results are. You can see that pink has kind of given rub marks almost. And the same thing there with the dusty concord. And using the craft mat underneath, you don't get that initial layer of ink soaked up by the paper, which means that there's a more even spread of ink across the foam to apply onto the cardstock giving you much better results. So if you're going to use the inking tool I would highly recommend buying yourself one of the craft mats. Now if the craft mats are outside of your budget you can always use baking paper. Um, it doesn't matter what brand as long as it's one of those waxed papers that you might use for the kids sandwiches and their lunches. It's got that waxy coating and that will give you a similar effect to using the craft mat. So if you're using the inking tool, I highly recommend the craft mat. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.